to Pet Allies Adoption Minute, sponsored by Sholo TV. I'm Jill Tinkle, and I've got my little co-host, Odie, <laughs> turned around today so you can see the truth on his shirt, because his guest, RJ Owens, from Pet Allies today, and she brought a guest as well. We're going to talk about some maybe not-so-nice doggy behaviors, kind of like this, kind of like <laughs> what we have going on down here right now. This is Odie mouthy. says, mouthy. Odie, Odie says he's always been good, yeah. not sure why he has this shirt on, uh -huh. but I can give you about 10 reasons why he would be wearing this shirt. <laughs> so let's talk about dog behaviors that are normal, like we see going on here, and why that might make somebody lose that commitment to that dog. What kind of things do you see, RJ? Well, this one's mouthy. She, uh, she really just needs a lot of exercise, and when she doesn't get exercise, she'll, this is what she'll do. So if you take her out for a walk a couple miles a day, um, you'll have a well-behaved dog. But this is what happens when they're at the shelter and they don't get any exercise. Right, and it's probably why a lot mm -hmm. of people return a dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Again, yeah. behaviors that aren't he knows so she's not behaving. Yeah, what Odie is actually telling her is that we don't do Th this kind no. of thing. So no. Odie's kind of our yeah. corrector here yeah. on the show. Yeah. But this is the kind of thing, the behavior, that will make somebody return a dog. Yeah. So when you, when you guys yeah. adopt a dog out, <laughs> we, we know, we're very aware. She's totally unacceptable. When, it, when, when you adopt a dog out, what uh -huh. kind of things do you do to try to avoid a return of that dog so we will help them with behavior uh, they can go to a professional behaviorist or um, we'll try to screen to find someone that maybe jogs twice a day or has sure. had a lab before because labs tend to be like this uh, or a really hyperactive dog so that they're used to dealing with a dog that needs a lot of exercise right and once you get the exercise done you, then the dog's tired and you can train. Absolutely amazing. It's really yeah. impossible to train her when she's like this. Exactly. She's but, not pay attention. But if I've got a family that has five little boys, for yeah. example, yeah. this is exactly the dog I'm looking for because I want them to get exercise too. Right. And what better way than to send them out in the backyard with a dog and a couple of tennis balls, right? A very strong dog. A very strong <laughs> dog and five bigger boys. Yeah, a couple of tennis balls. So um, I can <laughs> or there are another dog thing toys. that Pet Allies does, though. Will you do a sleepover? Mm -hmm. Is doing a sleepover. <laughs> yep. Cody just so you can no. take her home. Oh, he said no to the sleepover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not at your house. <laughs> not at our house. Not at our house. That's so not you, what she's yeah, talking about. You can about. take any pet home on a sleepover uh, for a week or so and see how she works or he works in the house. And, um, you know, if you have concerns, then we can see whether that's something we can fix for the person or whether they need to find a better match for Right, them. because sometimes yeah. it just isn't the right match, right? Right. And we try really hard because they... When someone takes hey. a dog out, let's say we've done everything we can do. We've talked to them, um, you know, kind of warned them, and like we might be a little silly like this one. Mm -hmm. um, and six months later down the road, they discover that we, this is not the dog for us. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you do about that. We take the dog back if they want to bring it back to us. If they want some training or some help, um, whatever kind of help it is, we're, we're going to try to do that. It's better than to bring the dog back. Absolutely. Because it's just going to do the same thing for the next person, so we need to correct the problem. True. So, so we'll help with that. We have certain trainers that we work with for certain different things that work better for certain different things. So we're absolutely a woman to help with people. Exactly. And that's the beauty of adopting from pet allies instead of um, getting that dog at bashes or Facebook or something like that. It's that continued support. Right. You know, in addition to that, we have pet allies clinic where people can get support right. there too. Right. You're having a good time there, aren't you? <laughs> Just you, you, you just might. It might just be me and Odie here very, very shortly. But, but this is exactly what we're talking about when we said that we're going to talk about some naughty behaviors today. You know, and, and what this is, we have two dogs who are just being dogs. You know, and so we try to make this real when we talk to you guys about adopting and know that it's not always unicorns and rainbows, right? Sometimes Correct. we have yeah. one that's mad at another dog. And sometimes we've got a dog that just wants to play really hard. And how much does this dog weigh? Oh, 50 pounds. 50 pounds. And so you've got... And she's got a lot of upper body strength there in the chest. Yes. And so she got, can pull me around. She can. You've got 50 pounds of strong. And the main point <laughs> we want to make today here. is it's very important to pet allies that adoption goes well, that adoption sticks, that the dog has a forever home, and that you really know what you're getting into. <laughs> You've got a lot to say today. You yeah. really do. Yeah, this is more more barky than we've seen Odie for a while. But again, we're talking about naughty behavior. So he, he did that on cue. But we want to make sure things go right for you, don't we? So yes. Pet Allies wants to make sure it's the right match, not just getting a dog into a home. So Odie, 
let's tell the folks goodbye and tell them thank you for joining us here on Sholo TV for Pet Allies Adoption Minute. And we hope to see you at the shelter. The Pet Allies Animal Shelter is located at 1181 East Thornton in Sholo Industrial Park. The shelter is open for adoption seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you would like more information about the shelter, its monthly events, or to schedule an adoption outside of regular hours, please visit www.petalliesaz.org or call the shelter at 928-537-8009.